Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. It's finally time. The full release of Baldur's Gate 3 is upon us, and I am pumped to go through this with my good friend, Luckless Lovelocks. Hello, everybody. You guys may know him. Uh, we've played a few games together, uh, specifically Larian games. And uh, while we're going through this opening cutscene, and before we show you our characters, I actually want to thank Larian for being longtime supporters of the channel. They hooked us up with uh, Divinity Codes, Divinity Original Sin 2 codes. They brought me out to a Baldur's Gate 3 event in Belgium recently for the Panel from Hell, which was really cool. And they're actually sponsoring this video for us as well. So thank you so much to them. And uh, if you guys have never heard of Baldur's Gate 3, this is a big time RPG game set in the... Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition universe. A uh, lot of tactics, a lot of cool choices and storytelling. You may have heard that there's about 17,000 different permutations <laughs> of endings. That's true. That's a real we'll thing. We'll be doing all of them. Yeah, we're going to do all 17,000 endings, obviously. And uh, the game is out now. So if you want to check it out, I'll have links down below for you to click on. It's releasing on PC today. It's also releasing on PS5 on September 6th. I should mention as well, uh, you don't have to have played Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 to play Baldur's Gate 3. This story set over 100 years into the future. But uh, this game does have some iconic characters and locations from those previous releases. So there might be some fan service there, including, obviously, the city of Baldur's Gate itself, so very cool. Let's get into our characters. We've got some pretty interesting ones chosen, and uh, I guess I will start. Is that cool with you, Luckless? Go for it. Okay, so I'm playing the Dark Urge, and what's interesting about this guy is you remember nothing from your path, which is from your past, which is great for me, because I have a terrible memory. Your memory's not that bad. It's pretty bad. You do have dark urges, though, I can tell. Well, yeah, dude. And he speaks to me because it's like, <laughs> I always talk about when, I, when I'm really focused, I'm like going to my dark place, you know? So oh. the, the dark urge is like, this is my, this is my jam. Um, unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? The idea behind this character is that there's going to be certain dialogue options that may lead you to unforeseen events, and you can either give in to your dark urges, or you cannot. It doesn't mean he's going to be a an evil character. Uh, okay, okay. Doesn't mean he's going to be like a, a quote-unquote good character. It just means that you will have these urges, and you can choose how you're going to address them. How to but, deal with them, okay. Yeah, but... It might not always go the way that you think, so there's a little bit of uncertainty there in the way things can shake down. Uh, and for me, that's great. Like, we're gonna roleplay this pretty hard, and whatever happens, happens. My rancid blood whispers to me, kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. That sounds great because that's the first time I'd heard that and that, that's going to create all kinds of, I think, really fun situations. Yeah, and there may be times where you're like, hey, I want to save this guy. And I'm like, I want to see what my dark urge does. And then like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, <laughs> whoops. maybe, yeah, whoops. There'll be a few whoops moments for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, okay, so that's, I'm going to play the dark urge. You talk very quickly about Karlak. So I'm playing as an origin character named Karlak who has escaped 10 years of service in the Hells with nothing but the axe on her back and the infernal engine blazing furiously where her heart used Ten to be. 10 years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a Hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. But I've escaped now. <laughs> Thank you, Mind Flayers. And I've got a few scores to settle if this engine doesn't burn me to ash first. I'll need people I can trust. An infernal mechanic, and a serious amount of luck. But you know what? I'm not worried. 
After ten years in the Hells, I can take on anything. I've got my chance at freedom, and believe me, I'm going home. So I'm going to be playing as a, uh, it's a tiefling race, the uh, descended from Devils of the Nine Hells. Tieflings face constant suspicion in Faerun, so I guess that's that's the world that we're in, right? Thankfully, their arcane abilities make them natural survivors, and I have Hellish Resistance, so I have resistance to fire damage because things always get set ablaze when we play these games together. <laughs> yes. Do you want to talk about your race? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I do want to mention with Karlak, the interesting thing that you kind of glossed over is her, she doesn't have a, like, a heart. It, she yeah. has something called, like, an infernal engine. Infernal engine, yeah. So that's a cool origin, in my opinion, because uh, I'm sure we'll learn a little bit more about what that is and how that works. And, and you can see it glowing in her chest there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so for me, I am, as I mentioned, the Dark Urge. I'm playing the Dragonborn uh, race. I am going with the Bronze Dragonborn subclass, and this means that my uh, breath is a lightning breath, so I can deal lightning damage. I'm also uh, lightning uh, resistance based, which is cool. I'm gonna play as a druid. The idea for me is like I want to I want to get big into the shape shifting, and when we're going into uh, combat, when I unlock it, I'll be able to turn into different animals, which will allow me to. Uh, not only become like a really tanky bear, for example, but I, I can was going to say, like, can you bird. turn into a bear? Yeah, you can oh. turn into a bear. Uh, you can turn into a bird and then reach like really high spots that you couldn't reach normally. So I don't know. I think that'll be really fun. And uh, what's what's neat is they're pretty tanky too because your shapeshift form and your normal form don't share the same health pool. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So uh, I think that'll be fun and it'll be really enjoyable. I can also talk to animals when I'm in like shape-shifted mode. So that'll open up some dialogue options for us. Uh, in terms of the cantrips I've selected, I've got the uh, Shillalag. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it. Shillalag! <laughs> I, I, we'll chant it every time we use it. Uh, but your staff or club becomes magical and then deals bludgeoning damage. And I think oh, I think it's Shalele. Shalele? Maybe it's Shalele. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's more fun to say, anyways. Let Let's us just know. Go with Shalele. Let us know. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm also p ticking, uh, picking up the Thorn Whip, so I can pull a creature towards me. But I also look at that as like I can pull them off a ledge or something, or I can pull somebody down from above me. I think that would be kind of nice. Uh, nice. My background is the Haunted One. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. <laughs> and uh, then my abilities. I've slightly changed some of this. I know Luckless kept his stock, um, but I put some extra points into Charisma um, because I'll do most of the talking with NPCs and stuff. I think that makes a little bit of sense there. And last but not least, I've got four prepared spells. I've chosen Entangle, I've chosen Thunder Wave, I've chosen Healing Word, and I've chosen Fairy Fire. So, should be fun. Good times ahead. Nice. Are you ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to go, man. Let's go. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's begin. So, we do oh, need to... write the Guardian. We okay. do need to choose Guardians. I'm just going to randomize a couple of times are, are we, yeah let's randomize let's and pick that. somebody that i won't mind looking at for the next like 80 hours you know what i mean sure okay luckily we don't have to look at each other that is not the look i'm going for <laughs> that's that, not bad that's kind of cool oh and we can go back if we want to if we find one that we like yeah exactly that's that's really cool that they added that oh. what, what he's talking about is in the bottom right here if you do a bunch of random appearance generators then you can go back and forth from the ones you've generated so kind of neat oh i like that one all right tell me what race you're picking uh it's human okay cool okay very dark skin but white hair very dark skin white hair that is like how i would build all of my characters in every <laughs> game <That's>, yes. <laughs> if you given make every character look like Geralt. if given the option yeah exactly <laughs> so it's I, perfect i kind of like this i've got a drow here with some uh light blue skin and white hair so we and then we kind of got like oh, the matching we're going with white the dual hair. white hair. All yeah, right, let's go dual white hairs. Yeah. All right, let's go.
Yeah, I mean, that'll do it. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so to Luckless's oh, point, we did play a little bit of Early Access about two years ago. And yeah. And uh, they've made a, quite a few changes since then. Uh, what they explained to us in uh, Belgium was that there's like 33% more content or different content now in just the first area in just the first act yeah <laughs> oh god and also like i think visually the it's been upgraded pretty substantially mm -hmm. yeah it looks absolutely the amazing blood the details on the textures like on overwhelming the loss of memory how you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden you have nothing in your skull Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. <laughs> so are you experiencing a dialogue on your own there? Yeah, I am. Uh, oh, there we go. I joined. Okay, cool. Curse whoever did this to you. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. <laughs> that's Don't kill me, okay? We're on the same side. That's me. Okay. Dude, look at it. I can't believe this is out. We're doing this. I know. Baldur's Gate 3. This is We've wild. been waiting for this for so long. And look how, like, okay. I, I'm all for any type of art style, but, like, I'm blown away by how good this looks. This is, Our characters look pretty cool together, too. They do, actually. Like, they mm -hmm. kind of play off of each other quite well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very neat. Okay, let's explore the room. Let's see what we have going on. There's a mind flayer on the ground. There's some Got stuff. Got a mind flayer pod here. here okay, you check that out. Let me know if you find anything interesting. Yeah, you too. We need to loot all the things. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking anything that's not nailed down. And even if it is, I'll try. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Okay, I, I got an onyx. I saw that you picked up an onyx as well. Yep, there's a chest up here. Are onyx just uh, things to resell? Looks like maybe. I think so. Maybe they could be used for crafting too. Maybe. I've got some more potions of healing, some gold, and fire amber. Okay. To make alchemist fire. I just have gold. Uh, so we can open our inventory with I. It's really nice that it shows you in the uh, bottom right, like all the things that your people are picking up. And then you can even, if you click on the combat log, you can keep it open or closed. I might keep it open for oh, cool. now. We'll see if it feels too distracting, but. Sure, let us know. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about me personally. So do we, what's this thing in the middle, the nursery? I presume this is the pool that thing came from. There we go. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Okay. Are you watching me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to assume that you're watching me. And if you're in a conversation, just assume that I'm watching you. And okay. if, if something happens, then we'll go from there. But So I can make suggestions on what I think Odd should pick. So you can see my little icon. Yeah, that's super cool. And that's what we'll do. Okay, some dialogue options require a skill check. Dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this roll. Now, I don't know if they had it exactly like this in Early Access, but this interface is very clean now. They very much improved it. I, I, like, I vaguely remember it, and this looks really good. Now, we're not the smartest characters. I think we both have <laughs> minus one. Yeah, we're definitely <laughs> role-playing. We're definitely role-playing uh, our, <laughs> our exact personalities. We're on over brains. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna need some intelligent characters to join us later, but uh, yeah. for now, that's not our strong point. Don't love that. <laughs> Whoops. Don't love that. That's so, I love like this. Epic failure. Yeah, it didn't say epic, it just said regular. <laughs> it was a regular failure, okay? That's a good way to start. There's nothing more than meets the eye. Yeah, what's there to notice? There's tad tadpoles in a brine soup or something. Well, I'm going to reach in there. Of course you are. Yep. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Way uh, to go. Went about as well as could be expected. Did you check all these mind flare pods? 
Oh, uh, yeah, they just say, like, the other survivors. okay, yeah. There's, there was someone in there or something like that. So I have nine health, by the way. You have 14. Uh, Luckless yeah. will be the tank, but when I get the ability to shapeshift, then we might just be double tanking. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, so I don't really have any spells. My main ability is rage. Mm -hmm. So I get, uh, I deal two extra damage with melee and improvised weapons. And I keep the rage on if I take damage or if I do damage on yeah. a turn. So I got to keep moving forward and kicking butt. So I just really quickly want to point out the uh, the journal. So right now, we've been abducted by mind flayers and infected with some kind of parasite. We need to find a way off this ship. Yep, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have, well, I have a personal quest. Same it, here. It says, be yourself, think dirty thoughts. <laughs> special, yes. <laughs> special, aren't you? Shh, don't fight it. You know what you need to do. Take up that knife. Do what you do best. Easy as breathing. You'll feel better after. <laughs> Sounds so much like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a uh, servant of none escape the hells. This is it. I've been trapped in the hells for a decade. And this nautiloid is my ticket out. So this is how we're going to get out. Let's go. Of our personal hell. Through the sphincter we go. Through the sphincter. <laughs> One of many. One of many sphincters in this ship. Okay. You checking out the goblin? It's a goblin. Got some gold. I got rune slates, eldritch tablets. Of a I looked at a record, illithid record. Sinews, as much living being as ship. Okay. I love the uh, the voice of the Mind narrator. Horticulture. Oh, you, you hear that? that? Yeah, I heard that. Years of human we are trapped. Elves, dwarves, oh, there's someone on a chair up here. Flash yes, I remember that guy from. Uh, Early access. Murnath. You want to go up there? What's these neural apparatuses? Is that can you interact with that? I think it. Oh. Yeah, it raises the. Uh, oh, lift. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cool. You don't have one of those in your house? <laughs> I call it something different. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. No, you don't. <laughs> Murnath. I just had a dark urge to say something, but I, you know, I held it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I have to resist my dark urges, then so do you. So you have better charisma than me. Yes. So, so we kind of decided that he's going to be what we call the face I'm of gonna the parties. Be, I'm going to be the face of the party. What could go wrong? <laughs> also, I know our cursors are very small. We're going to look into seeing if there's a way to change that later. Yeah. You got to strut, yes. man. You've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers Ooh. in like expectation. Please. This game they is return, so gross. They return. Okay. Are we talking to man or brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One uh. that is more brain than person. We failed in Arcana. Yeah, it'll show you in the top left if you um, succeed or fail in different checks. And uh, there's, I don't, in my opinion, don't get too stressed. Like if you're playing on your own, don't get too caught up in like succeeding in every check. Yeah. Because this is just the way that things will flow in a in a like D and D campaign, for example. But and also, oftentimes, it'll be more fun if you fail. Some, yeah, for sure. I, I think I think if I'm watching somebody do like a perfect run, that's that's to me that's boring. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully we can pull off some good stuff, and hopefully we get some cool surprises. Um, yeah, why are you afraid? The enemy, so many enemies. Fair. I think you might be past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So, what are you best at? I've got a bunch of options. Yeah. So I get a plus one from dexterity. Strength is flat, and in and uh, in my investigation is minus one. Does it show that for you? Does it say dexterity plus one? Yeah. When you hover on the okay. actual word, do you get to see that as well? Oh yeah, I, I see it too. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh, shows it for you. We're gonna try it. I need a 10, and I get a plus one. Come on, baby. Let's go. Daddy needs a new pair of boots. 
Got him. Well done. Look at the mouth. <laughs> Unreal. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, huh. making it more subservient, mm. should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire oh. to rip its tender, moist meat. Is this a dark shred. urge? Or I is think this that's like... got to be a dark urge, Ben. It's got to be. <laughs> what is this now? <laughs> Plus one from game's... dexterity. I think Advant the game's calling you stupid, Odd. Advantage, disadvantage, <laughs> split splatter? What's that? Split splatter. I gotta do it. That's gotta be some kind of like tag for your character. Yeah. For your origin. Yeah, maybe. Do it. Oh, you have advantage. So advantage lets you roll two dice and take the higher result before adding modifiers. Yeah. And the advantage is split splatter. I don't know why exactly that is, but that's gotta be a dark urge thing, I think. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, let's go. Still need to. Oh, we still didn't even oh, get it. Oh no! That's pretty high though. Fifteen, like that's no. There's joke. gonna be a lot of holes in this brain. But let's see. Maybe it'll be a hilarious outcome. <sighs> <laughs> My thumbnail. Boink. Is it gonna fight you? It's cute. I think it's friendly. Yeah, look, it's it's fine. Okay, I mean, if that's Wait, your definition of fine. Oh, it took damage. Who's Mirnath? Oh, oh, Mirnath, Mirnath is, is the guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, he fell to oh, lethal blow. Oh, you the combat blow. log on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. Wait, us? The guy, that thing's name is us? Yeah, us. Ooh. Okay, well, let's follow him. Does that guy have any loot? No. If you're wondering, <laughs> if, you, if you're thinking like, oh, it's pretty dark up here. Uh, yeah, it is. It's dark. Look at the portrait of this guy. Just just, just select him. I did. I, I saw him okay. before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he looks like he looks. Yeah. Okay. So Man, just all the details in here are amazing. We freed a, uh, a brain parasite. That's just a great way to start. That's good. I'm just seeing if there's anything else in here. I think that's all there is here, right? Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. The sounds are great, too. Like, jeez. rush past a dragon swing a silver sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes oh. <sighs> my head what is this <sighs> Skvar. you are no thrall Vlakith blesses me this day together we might survive so when I or when we played early access, I was a Gith Yankee. I believe I was a warlock, mm -hmm. if I'm not yeah. mistaken. What were you? Were you a fighter as well? I think I was a tiefling, uh, some kind of mage. Tiefling mage, yeah. like a wizard or a sorcerer. I, I I think so. I don't I don't really remember. Okay. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Yeah, I believe that. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. She's intense. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. So my understanding of the mind flayer situation is they inf infect us with these tadpoles and then eventually can control us and then eventually we become mind flayers ourselves. A mind flayer, yeah. That's how I understand it right now anyways. I don't know a lot about the mind flayers. So we're turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. 
First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Oh, we're interrupting their meal. Sexy. Here we go, combat time. Okay, so it's turn-based. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Um, what's interesting is in multiplayer, you get to act in whatever turn you want, or even at the same time. I don't know if that's always the case. Can't recall. But you can see, like, we're all linked at the top here, which means anybody can go in, in whatever way that we want. Yep. Um, so, Luckless is kind of our tank right now. Um, I think maybe you go first, and then we'll see what I want to do. All right, I'm going to rage. So, Get explain, really what, explain what rage does. So, it gives me extra damage, and I think it gives me some defense against uh, damage as well. Okay. So, I have resistance to physical damage and advantage on strength checks and saving throws, and I do two extra damage with melee and improvised weapons. Okay. And, uh, like I said before, I have to either take damage or do damage on my turn to keep the rage going. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take damage so gonna... or do damage every turn. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to run in here and attack this dude on the right. Okay. We should be able to clear the one on the left, mm -hmm. I would think. Um, and I'll start moving towards them. Sure. Okay, I'm going to move in. I just want to try a couple of my spells here, like Thunder Wave, for example. This is a good opportunity to, yeah, just test stuff out, because the fights aren't too tough. Right? Oh, you can actually see where it's knocking them to. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Oh, oh wow. they saved. They saved. When you're finished, click the button in the right corner to end your turn. That's fine. Okay, that was not an excellent start. I'm going to use my bonus action to do my shillelay. Where I be Mike. Shillelay! <laughs> shillelay! <laughs> my staff or club becomes magical. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to bring Lazale in and just engage here pretty much. What kind of stuff does she do? So she has Pommel Strike, which is uh, bludgeoning damage, non lethal attack against an enemy and possibly daze them. Rush attack, charge forward and attack the first enemy in your way, possibly pushing them off balance. Uh, she has her ranged attack. She has her main hand attack, which is what I'll be doing. She has lacerate, slash at your target's vital points to make it bleed. And then uh, okay. a hamstring shot as well to shoot an enemy in the thigh, possibly reduce their movement speed. I have lacerate. I also have cleave so I can hit people next to each other. Oh, yeah. Like I swing in, in an arc to hit up to three enemies at once. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, some of these, like, it looks like lacerate I can only use after a short rest. So you can't just spam all of these things all of the time. So let's just main hand this. 95% okay. should be fine. Nice. Yeah, these guys are pretty weak. Yeah, thank God. Okay, so I'm going to move in a little closer there, and I'll bring Dark Urge up a bit. So your name is just The Dark Urge? The Dark Urge, that's it. Because uh, we don't know anything. Our past, we don't know our names, really. We know, I guess, we're calling ourselves The Dark Urge. Uh, what would you name yourself? I would name myself uh, Urging Darkness. The Courage. So one of the cool <laughs> things about uh, Lazale, she has a Pommel Strike, which is um, can be used as a bonus stun, action. Right? Uh, yeah, it can daze them. It does say short rest on there, so I don't know if you can only use this once uh, before short resting or not. But anyways, I'm not in range to try it, so. Okay. Okay, Going good miss. Going for Lazale. Good Another miss. miss. All right, let me try this. I'm going to bring her in. I just want to see how this works. So we're going to go sure. um, main hand here. Oh, this will probably just kill straight up. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do it. Why? Oh, what were you going to do now to I me? can't keep my thing going. Oh, okay. Well, go in there now. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter. Enough. Like, we're just going to clear these guys yeah. anyway. Oh, maybe I can reach. Oh, yeah, I can. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. So I also have a prepare, so I can sacrifice movement speed to deal additional damage. Okay, that's cool. Um, loot all the things. We've got some void bulbs. So these void bulbs actually are, are very cool. 
because uh, we can use them to pull things and we can knock people into pits and whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. Yeah, yeah. Scimitars. Do you, need a, you don't need a crossbow, do you? No. Okay. Uh, we're dismissing some of the um, tutorials and stuff because they're pretty basic, but it's mainly just talking about how we can uh, move things around in our inventories. I'm just, okay, I need a break after that. Just, just gotta rest a bit. Where are <laughs> in you? <a> cradle. <laughs> just like this Illithid cradle oh, over nice. here. Like a, <laughs> I can just slide out in. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I love that. They're like, there's really no purpose. Yeah, just just a cool place to take a rest. Uh, we could hit this restoration pod. And we will. Sounds good. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep going. Shit, Up at the uh, arterial mesh. What do you wear for uh, for gear, by the way? I can wear light armor and medium armor. What do you I actually have a, a bonus when I'm unarmored. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unarmored defense. Your body is as resilient as any armor. While not wearing armor, you add your constitution modifier to your armor class. Interesting. Okay, so yes. you are also proficient with light, medium, and shields. But uh, yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, Two-headed two weapons for me. Yeah, sick. Okay, so you're just gonna go like full on crazy. Just run in there and do some damage. Crazy barbarian. You're a barbarian. So I'll take all right? the health potions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so your your main um, Wait, I took fire damage. Your main attributes there. are strength and constitution. Constitution. So we yes. got to keep that in mind as well. I actually walked through fire and took damage. Oh, go hit the uh, restoration pod before we leave. Okay. Oh. Need to go down. Way forward. Go down. I could I could have went down too, but it's okay. I thought I was resistant to fire. Resistant, not invincible. I know. I know. I know. Do you though? I know. Sphincter opened. Is that the second sphincter or the third? <laughs> I don't know. I, What's I've the lost, sphincter count? Uh, my sphincter counts at least... It's at least two. At oh, least there's two. one right there! Cultists. Mind flare pods. Push, push, push. Let's read the sigils. Okay. Another mystery. It's Arcana checks. So we're not going to pass. Probably not. Um, oh, I got one! Unleash. Okay. So the button on the left is Unleash. Arcana is Intelligence, so we should check these with um, Lazale. Yeah, and we can check them with every character. Once, anyways. Failed. Hey! And annihilate. annihilate. Unleash and Annihilate. Hold on. Time for Man isn't dead. Ooh. Sacrifice totally Cultus. I got a Arcana check happening here. Hold on a sec. Don't do anything. There's someone in here, right? In his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. All of these guys are just totally brain dead. They're sapped. What about this person in the pod? Yeah, we're going. Shadowheart. Yeah. Okay. So she'll oh, join us yeah. later. Yeah, okay, I remember her. Uh, look for a latch. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Must be a way to get you out of here. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! I'd be so claustrophobic. Oh my god, yeah. I would just die. Okay. So there's a... a switch here. The console appears dormant. Um, look for a switch. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. You know what to put in there, right, Odd? <laughs> Do I ever? I'm going to put my you sphincter out the in sphincter. it. Yeah, <laughs> you figured out the sphincter. This is nice. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay. Okay, well. So we have to find something to put into there to get her out. Or do one of these buttons do something? We can look. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff up here. Hold on one second. Very well. Before we hit the buttons. I know you want to hit the buttons, but just hold on a second. 
Okay. I'm a barbarian. I just hit stuff. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a get Yankee warrior. Did I just take something? And centuries of darkness. What the hell? Uh-oh. Whoa. We got brains here. Hello. <laughs> okay, they're dashing. Yikes. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I can cleave them. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm raging. I'll let you do this. Hopefully, I wonder if... Let me know oh, if I need to... Situational actions. Sorry? Uh, I've unlocked an action as a result of another ability, feature condition. It will remain at the side of your hot bar until those conditions expire. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, I'm moving up. Yep. Oh, no. Do oh, I need to move? Fair. No, I think I'm good. Yeah, okay, I can okay. cleave them. Beautiful. Boom. Very clean. Um, I'm going to try some stuff here. Yep. Just to learn how a bunch of our abilities work. Chevele! No, no. <laughs> oh, damn. That's Ooh. so cool. That's awesome. So that's the breath? That's my that's my lightning breath. Oh, look at Look at the care. Look at the brain too. It's like it's, it's sizzling. Like burning. It's smoking. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. Now I can only use that once per long rest. So, oh, wow. but from my understanding, we should actually be long resting after like most main encounters and stuff. Big so. encounters, right? That's cool. Oh, this is locked. We need these tools to pick a lock, or okay. we can find a key. So we're supposed to go to the right. Let's go left and check where these guys came from. Okay. I'm with you. Another sphincter? Yeah, sphincter count four. Four. I think, yeah. Gold key. Okay, we got a gold key and a scimitar. How many hosts of these gates? This puts infected? it into our inventory slots. We have like different pouches and stuff. So camp supplies, alchemy, oh, keychains. There's a mind flayer pod. Yeah, they're everywhere. A dazed woman oh, you're going is in trapped there? inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. She doesn't notice us. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a chair. Should we just sit and watch this woman in the pod? <laughs> Sick pod you got there. Nice. <laughs> Better than my pod. Yeah. Oh, there's another control thing here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's use Lizale. Oh, oh nice. I got it. What does it say? It says perfect. Perfect? Wait, there's a pod at the back here too. Is that a thing? There's someone here. Dead thrall. An eldritch rune. Okay. Copper ring and gold. Ah. Uh, Slave so that, mines. That it, she, I just said that I bet that fits into the pod. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll run that it back. Hole. We'll run it okay. back. Uh, do we need to mix up our uh, healing potions? I don't think so. I think it's fine. Oh, do you need some healing potions? No, I no. have four. Yeah, you can see my inventory too, so it's yeah. all good. Okay. Okay, let's let's take that thing back. Should we push this button? Why yeah, yeah, I think we should push the button. Perfect? Yeah, it says oh, perfect. Okay, I got it. All right, perfect. Oh, I'm listening. Place your hand on the console. Absolutely. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside change okay that doesn't seem like a good idea oh boy Maybe we shouldn't have done this <laughs> no we definitely should have oh I do love tentacles oh perfect yeah okay because they're changing into a uh, mind flare these things are procreating so we turn them into a perfect mind flare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I'm interacting with the pod. I'm with you. The newborn mind flare stares at you. Huh. Should we run? Let's let's leave. Yep. Let's go. I don't want to mess with that thing. Through the sphincter. I okay, really so like I that have... I can look at your inventory. So I have the thing for this. I'll try interacting with it. Okay. Let me out. Just sock it in the console shape like the rune you found. Insert the console it. appears. Hell yeah. The 
console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform oh. her like that other unfortunate? Okay, hold on, hold on, check. hold on, hold on. If we're doing an Arcana check, we should do this with uh, Lazale. Should I leave then? Yeah, leave. Okay. Okay, let me try this. Okay, I'm approaching. The console hums steadily, awaiting command. Oh, I wonder if you can do this. Like, you, there is a character select in the bottom left. So I wonder, like, if I selected my Dark Urge and I listen in. How does that work? Like switch to a different character to complete the dialogue? Yeah, it doesn't seem to work like mm. that. That's okay. Okay, Arcana. Our, our rolls have been excellent so far, so I'm sure this is gonna go swimmingly. What? One success at a three? Oh, hey! wow. Hello. It's just your character that has the issue. Yeah, weird. Weird. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it, it sure seem is pulsing. more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Okay. Do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. That's such a cool effect. Okay, so we have Illithid uh, being implanted with a Mind Flayer. Tadpole is a fate worse than death, isn't it? And wisdom check. That's a story, check. a story thing? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so we have a plus one on wisdom checks. That's fine. Do it. Oh yeah, we need to roll a two, so we can't fail. 19 again. She's the roller. Yeah, she's the roller. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Todd, do you feel sated? I, don't, I feel something. <laughs> it's all those sphincters. A, a certain sensation. She's out. At last. I'll talk to her. I thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with Oh, you. okay. You keep Racist. dangerous company. Do we want her? We want them all. That, so yeah, I personally, I always oh, try, yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to recruit like everybody, but I, I do have a bad feeling that my dark urge might cause some problems, but who knows? <laughs> I hope it does. You have a problem with Githyanki? More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. How do you feel and about her haircut? Not at all what I'm focused on. Watch each other's backs along the way. But, but now I know, now I know what you're looking at during cutscenes, like, <laughs> now I know. So that's gonna, that's just, that's gonna explain a lot, I'm sure. And I'm when you're like, oh, what, what happened, what happened in the hair. past five minutes? Uh, I don't know, I don't remember, I was looking at their haircuts. <laughs> I'm the Dark Urge, hello. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hello, I'm you the Dark what? Urge, hello. You know what, put me back in the pod. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel what I just felt before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Shadowheart. I'm the Dark Urge. One moment. What's up? What is that? Oh. Yeah, what's that? Uh... <laughs> like, we're, we're just gonna let that go? <laughs> it's nothing. We didn't pick that up. Trust me. Enough of this. It was chatter. in there with her, I think. We need okay. to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Okay. Can we take it forever? So she is with us. So I have to do one thing here. I'm gonna assign her to you. Okay. Right? Yep. Uh what is her deal? She is a She is a cleric. Okay, yeah. So we'll make her like into a healer of sorts. 
as best we can, and she can do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think we used her in the early access, so I kind of... I think we will... I feel like we used everybody. Um, yeah, at some point. Do we see that thing that she grabbed in her inventory? Mysterious artifact. Yeah, we do. A many-sided artifact of blackened iron. Engraved with pulsating runes. Something stirs within. Is that, do you think, from this place, or do you think that's something she brought in? I don't know. Where can I go? I'm not sure either. Seems like something she brought in, right? Because it was in the pod with her. There's a necklace here I'm going to grab. Okay. Oh, and I got a key, so I'm going to open this thing now. There we go. Gold nice. key. Nice. I got onyx and gold. Oh, one of them was us. The one, the oh, one that attacked. Oh, That's yeah, the yeah, one that yeah. you let out. See? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you it went it... and got that other brain and was like, let's go, buddy. You gave it a brain butthole and it came out. <laughs> okay, what do we want to do with these guys? We still have these buttons. There's annihilate and unleash. Or middle, or middle random. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't. I was about to click annihilate. Don't <laughs> click anything. Uh, oh, try with, uh, with, I could try with Shadowheart. Yeah, Shadowheart only has 10 int as well, but. Man, we have a dumb party. Oh God, everyone's so dumb here. What do you think? What do you want to do? I was going to annihilate because I'm a barbarian. Okay. Filled with rage. What do you want to do? I'm going to hit your dark I'm gonna urge. Hit, I'm gonna, you. My dark urge is telling me to hit the unknown button. Okay, do it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so now um, if you take a look at the top, um, it linked you guys and it's linked me and... Oh, interesting. Shadowheart. Okay, so that, I guess, everybody rolled initiative and then... I guess if you're in similar spots, you can just do Decide either who or. goes first, yeah. Okay, so you want to go? Going in! Okay, rage it up. Rage! It's a lot, a lot of, we're going to hear a lot of screaming in this playthrough. Main hand him. Yeah, you just crush, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get all the way over there, so I'm just going to come over here. I've got a range shot here. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can't always dash if you want to. Yeah, true, but... Then you can't attack. Right. Because that uses both your actions, right? Exactly. Uh... Basically, you convert your action yeah. into movement. Exactly. So he is going to get an attack off, it seems. But I think that's fine. Oh, yeah, look like a badass. Ooh, really? Acid splash, eh? Okay, so the saving throws, is that um, just so it, it doesn't impact us, or is that like it would have dealt enough damage to kill? I think it just doesn't impact us, right? It, it's, it's, it could be different things. It could be like whether you fall or not. It could be, uh, it can have damage for some saving throws. It just depends on the spell. Got it. What are you doing? Thunder? Thunder lips? I'm, I'm doing thunder thunder thighs. Okay. Oh, Holy see you later. Where the hell did they even go? That's... <laughs> They're just a backpack now. No, that was there before. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you grab that backpack? Oh. Okay. There we go. I well, thought was... you already uh, searched that. I did those guys before me. I'll hit the little restoration, but <sighs> unnecessary. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. What is that, five? Another restoration. Uh, sphincter count? Yeah, that's, yeah. I think, at least five. Oh. I wonder what plane they're from. Okay. We are nearing that's all there the is in here? Once inside, do as I say. Okay. Lazale's the boss, I guess. <laughs> oh, did she say something to you? Yeah, she said, we're reaching the, the helm once inside, do what I say. Uh, okay, you can also that. look up, where is it? There is a dialogue history, I believe. Where is that? Uh, I thought I saw a dialogue history. Yeah, I remember seeing that too. In the journal? Journal hmm. dialogue. Dialogue, yeah. Nearing the helm, yeah, once, nearing inside, the helm do as once inside, do as I say. Okay, cool. Let's do as she says. Let's go. Oh. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Gather your party. Demon with a six pack. Jeez. 
Hey, eating his brain? It's so good. Okay, those imps are uh, tougher than I thought. Control. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. I ain't we'll no thrall. We'll deal with the after we escape. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I did hear I did hear about this fight a little bit, and people had suggested to try and kill the the actual boss here, Commander Zulk. He's obviously very strong, and I feel like our chances to hit are going to be kind of low. But he is fighting that mind flare, and we have 15 yeah. turns if we want to go for it. But we need to reach the transponder before the Nautiloid crashes, which is way up here. Um, I think we try to fight him. We got to clear these little dudes along the way and let's see what we can get done. And if, if it's going well, we'll do it. If, if we have to make a run for it, then we'll make a run for it. Are you on okay. board for trying that? I'm on board. Okay. Let me main hand this guy on the left. You go for the little, uh, hell's boar. I'm going to protect you. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Okay, absolutely slaughtered him. Um, I'm gonna rage. Of course. We yeah. did a lot of that. Yeah. I'll just keep running forward here. Okay, good, I can get him. It's cool how we're all kind of doing stuff at the same time. Like, I mm -hmm. think that's really nice for keeping things, like, going. Moving fast? Yeah, yeah, very cool. Let's do firebolt, can't trip. Now, I noticed oh, my lightning dead. breath is back up, even though we didn't do a long rest. So maybe it, maybe it's because it's in a tutorial area. Could be. And I'll move up a bit. Uh, yeah, how do I want to handle this? You still have your turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if I can do anything to that guy way over there. Watch out for the fire, too. Yeah, noted. Noted. I might actually just dash here as well. Sure. So you don't have, you can't transform yet, right? I can't transform yet. No. Yeah. Do we have any, like, uh, explosives or anything on us that we can chuck? We have that, uh, spiked bulb. Yeah, but, but that's only think... one damage. No. I don't think we have anything. Throw okay. a dark mind. Are you moved up as uh, far as you can? No, that, yeah. I don't think that's going to do I don't think that's going to cut it. Oh, wait. Shadowheart can still move. Okay, yeah. So so get as close as you can to that other thing. Uh Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's pretty cool. Like, I can take back my, my uh, end turn. Yeah, it's really to. nice. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm Can't down to understand. seven health. Love that. Love that for us. Okay, what's Shadowheart got here? You don't need healing, do you? No, uh, I'm fine. So Shadowheart, I think I gotta go with some type of ranged attacks. For now. Um, I don't need to mo reduce movement speed, really, because this guy's just chunking down our Mind Flayer friend. <laughs> uh, but I do have this rush attack that maybe gets me in there. Oh yeah, go for it. I missed, yes, so that's damn. exciting. But I do have now my bonus action Pommel Strike, which could daze. 40% 40, 40 chance to hit. I feel like, because he's way stronger than us, we're gonna have low chances, but. All right, your uh, attack was resisted. No. The entity took half damage. Examine an yep. entity to see its resistance. Cool. Could have been worse. I'm gonna Guiding Bolt this uh, imp. Shadow Heart. Move up a little bit. Okay. I will ascend. Well, I'm not gonna be able to take damage here. No choice but to keep going. Let's do um, dash. I think what I'm gonna Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I've I'm dashing and just running up. Okay, wait, wait, don't don't are oh. you fighting him? Are you gonna hit him? I mean? Nope. No oh, no no. Okay. I'm just gonna run up. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, position yourself, you go next, and then I'm gonna do that fairy fire, but try to position yourself like maybe to the right of the, the mind flare so that I can 
hit this guy with uh, this fairy fire and not hit our team. Okay. Because the fairy fire is going to give us uh, all the targets within the light turn visible, and attack rolls against them have advantage. So that seems good. Okay. Saved fairy fire. Okay, well, he's pretty strong. Guess, guess that didn't work. Guess okay, not. I'm gonna move up. Hold on. So, uh, is it affect? It isn't affecting us, is it? I think I'm gonna try and heal the mind flare. Yeah, big four, okay. big four right there, baby, big four. Okay. So if I end the rage, let's just see what happens if it ends on its own. Yeah, it does. Okay. Critical miss, thank God. Wow. So now what do we do? We just hammer this guy? Let's do it. He looks like he's only fighting the, uh, like he's only fighting the Mind Flare. I'm, I'm gonna try some Lacerate damage. It's 40%, okay. like all our attacks are super low. I'll take that. I'll go with Sacred Flame from here. Only 40%. You should also start moving, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dark Urge. I think I just got to get in there and... Uh... Maybe I'll cast Shalele. Shalele! <laughs> so I can do Prepare this time, so I do bonus damage. Okay. And then Lacerate, maybe? Yeah. Oh, nice. Bleeding. And you got the bleeding. That's nice. actually very big. I guess we're oh, just going to... resisted some of the damage, though. I guess we're just going to surround this dude, eh? Yeah, do you want me to move to... Okay. No, it's fine. I do have this lightning breath, but it's too... Oh, I can actually try this. Saved. Yeah, he's just got. I, I think with just regular attacks would be better. We have so many turns. I'm actually fine with the way this is going as yep. long as he continues to hit that guy. Do we have any heals on anybody else? Like, I use my healing, so I can't. I think. I'm just I think thinking. I'm out of spell slots for Shadow Heart, so. Okay. There's just the potions that we have. I'm and that's a bonus action, so you can, like, attack and use a potion. Yeah, but can you use that on the Mind on Flare? Because oh, he's the yeah. one getting attacked, right? I'm not sure about that. Okay. End turn. I can heal um, myself with Lazale. I can also try shoving. But the, my concern about shoving, though, is that it's not going to do any damage, and it's just going to make him reprioritize the target, and he probably one-shots us. So maybe I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Up to you. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. Let if me he's just going to keep attacking the Mind Flayer, there's no point in wrecking that. Oh, and okay, the Potion of Healing, as soon as you click it, it gets used. I was going to see if I could use it on the Mind Flayer, but... Okay. All right. Let's just, let's just swing at him. We don't need to do anything crazy. Just swing. All right. What is this? Astral Knowledge. Easy okay. enough for me. Hey, I'm hitting the 40. That's cool. Oh, so much for peace. Sacred flame. Do you have any maybe other just, like? Maybe I should just go in there and whack him. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have any other. I don't have any other uh, damaging abilities. Yeah, let's just see what we can do here. Poor guy. Hmm. Poor Zalk. Hmm. You know what? I actually will do a uh, heal here. On the uh, mind player? No, on mine. I, we can't heal the mind player anymore. Yep. Okay, keep swinging. Yep. Oh no, a miss. Critical hit. Okay. Nice. Dark okay, urge. See. I'm gonna go shillelagh. I'll try just melee attacking. Yeah. Yeah, she's weak, eh? Obviously. What? <laughs> Damn, this is a little risky. Do, do we have, uh, like, we could disengage, right? Or does he have attacks of opportunity on us? 
Yeah, there's so there is a uh, an ability that's it's called disengage. I know, but because um, he's he's like engaged with the uh, the other dude, so I'm just wondering if we can move for free. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure if we're technically engaged with them. I th I think so. Yeah, it says threatened. Okay, he, that that mind flayer has like one hit left. So this is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going, or do you want to end it? I think we go one more t one more round here and see. Okay. Because if he oh, if he kills no. the guy, then we can use the disengages. Actually, hold on. See, if I move, it's not telling me he's gonna proc an attack. I yeah. I also believe there's only one. Like he'll only do one attack of opportunity. So. Yeah, oh. we're fine. I okay. just ran right through him. Oh yeah, you can move within his range without taking an attack of opportunity. No, even if I if I hover away, it's not showing me that he's attacking, so. Yeah, okay. It seems okay. They're dying for me. All of them. Um Sacred Flame is actually a better chance of hitting. Yeah, there we go. So Four do, damage. Do that. <laughs> Critical, okay. Oh my god, this is this is this is Come on. sketchy. He, we, our dude there, our mind flayer needs to dodge. Can you like throw a potion of healing at somebody? I don't know. Not enough movement. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Let's say. Okay. Oh. What? Hello. What? Where did you come from? Uh. Maybe he summons them after a certain period of time. Maybe. He is far away. Oh, there's two. He's far away. <laughs> One more round. This is so sketch, dude. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. <gasps> no! Okay. You know what? I could do... You know what you should do? Uh, that attack that you just That's did tough. that was a higher percentage to hit, was that melee or ranged? It's ranged. You want me to move over there? Yeah. Go to the go to the thing in case we need to, but don't don't activate. Oh boy. Uh-oh. I didn't know that would happen. I mean a thing. Before they strike. Oh, we're good. Okay. Oh, but there's more enemies. Wait, where? By the switch. Oh my god. Okay, you that, you fight those. They're more. weak. You fight your way over there. We'll okay. we'll see what happens here. Uh, okay. Not too confident. Uh, what's this guy's dexterity? 18. Yeah, he's super strong. I'm gonna keep shillelaying. Yeah, 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 shillelay. Yikes. That's, you didn't shillelay! I shillelayed the best that I could. Shillelay harder! <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen, dude. Oh, wait. You never know. It's, oh, it's a nail biter. Oh, man, they're dashing. It's a nail biter. They're just running in. Okay, they're still not at us. Yeah, they still have to dash over to us, I think. He missed! Dude, there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay. Okay, okay so you, you understand what you need to do with, uh, with, uh, Shadowheart. You're gonna keep here. killing them. Yep. Yeah, but you gotta move and kill. You understand? Yep. Okay. So feel free to do that. Okay, that's good. Jeez. Still whacking? Oh, uh, I'm trying, but we're just, we're whiffing. 40%. I got him. Four damage. This uses my spell casting ability for attack rolls, so I'm not 100% sure if this is better than just attacking, but... Critical hit! Crit oh my god! 21. He's at 21, dude. Oh my god, this is very sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you should consider moving Karlak back towards where, uh, to the right of Lizale, just so that we're further away. You have movement points still, so you should mm -hmm. be able to do that. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay. 
Oh, oh come on. That's so rough. Okay, the Hell's Boar's coming in. Good miss. We have eight Swing turns. And a miss. Is this too risky? Probably. Is it awesome? Yes. <laughs> well, it could be awesome. It could be. I think this is like, now they're, oh, they're flying. Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Oh, boy. I'm down to one health. I think we run. They're dead. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Can you... How much... Can you disengage? 82 health? Yeah. Uh, with with Shadowheart, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Shadowheart. Yeah. Can you disengage? Wait, hold on. And then run to the, uh, to the transponder? Hold on. What does disengage cost? That costs your action. That's an action, yeah. So... You probably need to dash there still, which I don't know if you'll have and enough. And if I, if I get hit, will that stop the dash? Yeah, try, okay, disengage and see how far you can go. Wait, is it something we have to touch? It's I have, an ability we have to use, yeah. I have this mage hand thing with, uh, with Lazale. Oh, okay, you wanna see if you can... I just, I feel like I need to go first. Because if I don't, he's gonna engage with us and then we're definitely in trouble. I can't even catch my breath. Well, I, can, I can't make it to the switch without dashing and I've already used the disengage. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get as close as I can. Okay. I'm very nervous about this. Yeah. Okay. What what do you think I should do with Car with Carlac? Um Okay, Carlac is not engaged, right? So try a dash. Try to see yeah. if you can get there with a dash. No. No. But I'll I'll get close. I get or should I stay back to tank for a little while? I don't even know if you could tank a hit. Yeah. Honestly. Um, if I had that, uh, entangled now, that would be pretty cool. Mm, yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do I try that hand thing? Is it gonna... does it have a turn? Like, or... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it works either. Like, it looks like I could cast it out to right between your characters. I just don't know then if it... You know? If you can manipulate it. Yeah. Oh, so sketchy. I mean, we have these scrolls of Revivify, so even if you go down... That's true. We can, we can heal. Yeah, possibly. Okay, I've disengaged. On my way. I'm gonna run there. Lazale can actually just move. Oh, wait. Maybe that's the play here. Explain. So Lazale is not engaged, so I could just move, and then I can cast the Spectral Hand and see if that can interact with the thing. Okay. That puts me basically right on it. Well, what else would you do, I guess? So now... Oh, Mage Hat doesn't go till next turn. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that, I didn't know that. But that's definitely a problem. I think the Dark Urge is in trouble, buddy. I think the Dark Urge is in trouble as well. <laughs> Another fight. Let's go. Um, uh, I'll heal and hope for the best. Victory awaits. Right? That's the best. That's all yeah, I can do. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? Boy. Well, <laughs> I wonder if we just leave, like, even though we're downed like that. <laughs> a member of your adventuring party reaches zero hit points, they are down. This is a state between life and death, but they roll each turn to survive. On three successful rolls, they become stable. On three failures, they die. So they're not technically dead. If I just hit this button, you know? Or if I just hit the button. I'm going for it. 
I, I'm trying to hit it. It's not letting me. DFA. I'm in there. Okay, sick. Yeah, I'm up. We're up. I can't join dialogue because I'm dead. There we go. You're dead. Okay, I mean, valiant effort, dude, honestly. Valiant we tried. Effort. We tried. I don't think we could have done any better. I, I feel like that's a gambling situation because your attacks are at 40%. That was fun. Oh no, you're, you're hamped! <laughs> My mage hand. Your oh. mage hand's getting burnt. Task failed successfully? Yeah, right. I feel like that's going to be the theme of our entire run. <laughs> that's the theme of my life. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yes it is. Oh. Okay, well, look, we did we did the task. We tried to get a little bit of extra juiciness there, it just couldn't happen. Yeah, I mean, if we had hit a few more times and the mind flare had hit, then yeah, then he he's dead. It. Yeah, then he's dead for sure. That was fun. I think Hell that was. Yeah. I mean, it's a risk worth taking there, but mm -hmm. I don't even know if the weapon was good. I just heard that we should try it. Now, some people might be wondering, why don't you just quick save and then try it and then reload? But that's like that's not uh, our style. Yeah. No. 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 What happens happens. Yeah. It's more. It's more dramatic that way. So you're just dead. No, no. Something saved us. Something saved, yeah. Well, you. expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship but your past is still an aching void if you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon your future will be as blank as your past your head whispers vengeance you cannot wait to slice your way forth seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you No doubt Zarya will be on my trail soon. I think I even spotted one of her hunters on the ship. I'd better get moving. Hmm. Huh. Forget the hunter, the parasite, and the engine. I'm home! God damn it, home! Yes. Yes! Should be able to follow the river straight to Baldur's Gate. Easy. Step one. Get far away from anything with tentacles. Step two, stay calm and don't burn anything down. <laughs> Step three, find allies who won't mind a friend who spends a lot of time talking to herself. <laughs> now, time to march. I've got a life to live. Oh, I love her. Finally. She's great. So uh, that's that's something that's cool how um, we both land here and it immediately gets to like what our personal endeavors are. Because mm -hmm. um, mine was basically like, you don't remember a whole lot. Um, you better figure out a way to get this uh, thing out of your head. Thing out of your head, so that your future isn't as blank as your past. And uh, that's a nice little touch, you know. And we lost our companions. Yeah, because we came flying out of the ship. We landed here. They landed elsewhere. So we gotta. Who knows? Yeah. We gotta find them. Uh, guys, we're gonna wrap up the first episode here. Thank you so much for watching this. 
And uh, thanks to Luckless for playing. We will be trying to get you guys as many episodes as possible ASAP. If you want to see Luckless's uh, perspective, you can go to his channel. I'll have links in the description below. If you guys Same are new with, here... Same uh, with Odd. You can go to Odd's channel and I'll have links on, uh, on my video. If you guys are new here, uh, please consider subscribing. We're going to have a ton of fun with this one. And uh, we're going to go deep. We're going to try to get into all the lore, take our time with stuff, do the interesting quests that we find. Uh, we're going to have a good time. I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks I'm for really joining excited, me. I'm really excited, man. Baldur's yeah, Gate 3, it's here. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoy your own playthroughs as well. If you are watching and playing alongside, it would be really cool to hear uh, the different things that are happening in your playthroughs compared to what you're seeing in ours. So uh, mm -hmm. please keep us updated and we'll be down in the comments reading and, and responding. And so, let us know what kind of character you made. Yeah, for sure. I want to hear be, about that. That would be awesome. Guys, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Love you.